Our first inductee is Ken Balance. Ken was the Mustangs first softball coach serving in that capacity from 1999 to 2003, during which time Villa Julie moved to varsity status in 2000. He was forced to step down due to health complications. However, he continued to be a presence at Villa Julie athletic events before his passing in 2008 at the age of 57. Ken Balance, uh, huge heart. Um, when you talk about the history of Villa Julie College and Stevens University, Ken Balance embodied absolutely everything that's great about Villa Julie and Stevenson. We wouldn't have had women's softball if it weren't for Ken Balance. Matter of fact, we wouldn't have baseball. Um, well, we weren't going to start baseball without softball. There was interest in baseball, but little interest in softball. Ken Balance made sure that we had a softball team and therefore had a baseball team. The student experience, trying to allow each athlete or student athlete to have a good co collegiate experience, whether it's just one or multiple. And uh, you know, that was you know going to Florida, that was going to uh, Chambersburg when we played Wilson and having a night bowling. You know, it's just, you know, each, each, he wanted to give out the experiences, I mean, car washes and, and the unity and being together and having them understand there was more than just winning. He was affectionately known as Uncle Buck. And uh, that probably would best describe him. Um, and the part with Coach Bounds, it was never about him. It was always about the student athletes. It was always about the experience. It wasn't even always about wins and losses. It was about giving them a quality experience. Um, and that was, you know, both Coach Meyerson started under him and, and, you know, the latitude he gave her gave her a tremendous amount of confidence that when she took over as head coach, she did very well. Um, and that was because of the belief he had in people and in belief in Villa Julie. You know, when you enter a room and someone smiles at you, you feel comfortable already. I just feel like he gave that feeling out. Like, you shouldn't feel nervous around me. You should just, you know, be comfortable around me. Um, you know, he was, I guess I would say he's the one for bluntness. You know, he was really like, oh, it needs to be this, or this is how it goes, and this is how we need to do things to make it easier. So rather than working harder, working smarter. <laughs> It is my honor to welcome Ken Balance into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Accepting on Ken's behalf is Stephen Balance. Good evening. On behalf of the entire Balance family, we want to say thank you to Stevenson University for this honor. From the beginning of Ken's tenure at then Villa Julie College, it was apparent it would be more than just another sports gig. It was going to be an adventure. That adventure would have been possible without the leadership and friendship of Brett Adams, a name that is synonymous with gratitude in our family. We were completely shocked to get a call from Brett that Ken would receive this award but also incredibly grat grateful. Ken loved working with people who were as dedicated as he was to the athletic program, some of which are still involved today. In addition to Brett, we know Ken would want to recognize a few people like Fran Fiddler, the heart and soul of the athletic department, who quickly became a great resource, an amazing colleague, and a lifelong friend. Stephanie Meyerson Beard, the best assistant Ken could have asked for, who helped launch the program to its success under her leadership. Back in 1999, the athletic program was a little leaner and extremely cozier, housed in one half hallway off the gym. It was known that the farther down the hall you went, the crazier it was. Hence why the baseball softball office located directly besides the bathroom was all the way down at the end of the hall. <laughs> the office never saw a dull moment, filled to the brim with ball players, equipment, laughs, and a constant stream of toilet flushes. 
Like any program in its infancy, there were hurdles. The largest one was finding a field. Not an easy task, but Coach Balance worked diligently to find the softball program, a place to call home, and the best option at that time was Bachman Sports Complex in Glen Burnie, Maryland. When they refer to Villa Julie as a commuter school, this probably didn't help. <laughs> The entire team and all their equipment would cram into a VJC van, home games at Bachman, 30 to 60 minute drive, away games at Frostburg, sometimes even a game across the Bay Bridge. It became a ritual and always an adventure. It gave the team a chance to perfect their chance and argue over the next meal. The team building aspect was off the charts which came and clutched during games. Coach Balance enjoyed every second, whether it was hitting practice balls in the field, driving the VJC vans, or helping the team raise money by pulling an overnight shift to stuff newspapers with the softball team in tow. He enjoyed the game, the camaraderie, and its impact. Villa Julie became a second home for Ken, and by extension, our family. We pulled the extra shifts when a college student couldn't be found. We rode in VJC vans, kept softball scorebooks, scouted and ran basketball tournaments with a finesse. Coach balance on the shot clock and another balance on the scoreboard. We cleaned bleachers, ran concession, took tickets, whatever task it was, we were there. It became the future college for my sister Katie who needed no introduction with a vast knowledge of the campus staff and its inner workings. Coach Balance had a great adventure here at Villa Julie Stevenson and he enjoyed the enthusiasm and energy every Mustang athlete and colleague brought to the program. We are extremely grateful to accept this on his behalf. Thank you.